So this is Castle in the Darkness, and this was designed by a guy called Matt Cap, who did, I think, the artwork for Binding of Isaac Rebirth over at Nicholas. Same guys that did Binding of Isaac Rebirth, <laughs> to be redundant. He's, uh, yeah, he basically did this whole game, mostly. And I've had my eye on it because I like games like this. It's not a roguelike. It is just a straightforward, simple, NES-style action game with a hundred weapons and a bunch of bosses and enemies and stuff like that. So let's find out if it's any good. Whoops, sorry. One dark and gloomy night, King Elmore II grew ill. Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong with your face? Armies of monsters attacked the castle. The royal guard tried to fight, but they were all defeated by the Mostar. All but one. So Matt Cap pretty much did the art, I believe the programming, and the music for this game. Which is kind of cool. Game is loud. Game is no longer loud. Whoa. Wait, did I just jostle that guy in the ass with my sword and he dropped gold for me? City has been overrun by monsters. Can I rob this guy? Yes, I can. Is the game better now? A little bit less uh, loud? Is it good? The weapon system in this game reminds me a bit of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Or more like Dawn of Sorrow. There's an equipment screen here. Guard sword, the world's worst sword. You can see there's... There's a quite a few weapons. Um, I think there's even more than that. Items, relics, so there's, there's quite a few things to collect in this game. Some enemy bullets can be hit back. Oh, hi there. Oh. Duh. Okay, so giant eye floats. Let's count how many tropes we can we can find. Eye, purple eye with tentacles. I've seen that at least a few times. It's just there's a different take on the eye with tentacles this time around. That's the difference. Uh, gameplay is solid. Controls well. Simple. Hold jump when landing to bounce higher. Oh, okay. Alright. I mean, the most important thing is that the controls are tight and they're not completely, you know, just stiff and annoying and floaty. There's actually some degree of. You have a good degree of control over your character, and there's a giant frog! And the giant frog almost killed me. Great. I'm good at this game. Right in the beginning, getting hit by frogs. Some cracked blocks can only be broken while holding the Ares gauntlet. Chicken. Okay, well I don't have the Ares gauntlet, so that's not happening, is it? Fucker. And yes, I did play this game for a moment. 
earlier, that's why I got that one die. But I, I really pretty much just died in the right in the beginning. Just to test and see everything worked. I've, um, I've had this new idea. This is gonna sound radical, but I've decided to test games before I stream them. So I don't waste your time. You know, because if a game works, and I can stream it correctly, then I'm very happy. Okay, guys. Um, I'd like to point out that I am not this shitty at video games generally. But I've been drugged. Reg drugged me before he left. Just his presence alone was enough to drug me. Okay, let's not do that again. Let's defeat the fucking skeletons. Okay, we guess so. Alright. Hey, what up? Some bosses have weak spot like their eyes or their heads. What a surprise. Would you like to buy wrong sword for a hundred? Wrong sword? What do you mean, wrong sword? Why would anyone buy a sword named Wrong Sword? You think the blacksmith who created it would have probably given it a more like, I don't know, appealing name? The in costs 10. I guess it's just health, is it? Let's see, why can't I jump up here, but not up there? Oh, there's one extra step. There. I want the wrong sword. It's gotta be better than this piece of shit. Wait, what does the inn do? Hang on a second, now I'm curious. Does it just recover health, or what? Gotta find out. Even if it is a waste. Yeah, that was crap. Just health recovery, as far as I can tell. <sighs> Alright, well there goes 10. Thank you. Game is lost. Appreciate that. Oh! Ah, fuck! Hmm. Hey, I got my money back. Gotcha. Is that a Yo, is that a fucking skeleton with a shotgun? It's all those dead shopkeepers from Spelunky. Vigo! Guys, what in the name of fuck is Vigo from Ghostbusters doing here? Carpathian is a Ghostbuster. Do you want to go watch the Ghostbuster movie? Oh, oh no! Oh no. <laughs> Do you know this game is kind of difficult, guys? If you have no patience, like me. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Ruskan Baya! Yo, 
You gotta get so close. The sword fucking sucks. There's gotta be a better weapon for some kind of distance. Oh. oh my god. The beans. The level of beans. Alright, you need to... You need to speed this item get process up a bit, game. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go get the wrong sword now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it nice and slow. <laughs> that was almost death. Don't forget to equip it at a save point. Look at that! He just spelled it wrong, and maybe it's supposed to be longsword. Weapon. It's got one, right or wrong, it's still an improvement. It's got one attack, but it's got more range. So, worth it. Uh, I think I want to go in here and break that stuff now. Kern. Oh, more secret. It's the wrong sort. Yeah, I get like a Castlevania 2 vibe from this, I would say. I still don't have enough jump to get up there though. This game looks like it's trying to be Shovel Knight, but it's failing because the level design looks poor and the enemies seem a bit overpowered. It's hard to hit, unnecessarily difficult to get money. I mean, this is the first five minutes of the game, you know, ten minutes of the game. And um, I agree level design isn't as strong as Shovel Knight's by any means. But this isn't even, you know, the game is six bucks, so you can kind of see what kind of expectations they had. Like, it's not supposed to be as amazing or as detailed as Shovel Knight, so you have to kind of temper your expectations a bit. But, um, I disagree that the game is too bullshit. I think that's just a bit of a learning curve early on. But hey, we got the wrong sword now, so... That's making life a little bit easier. Oh, locked. So far, it's pretty good. I, I enjoy games like this, and um, as much as I enjoy the roguelite games, it's nice to take a break from that and actually just play a straightforward adventure game based on some of the uh, NES era games. But we'll we'll see. It's still too early to tell if the game's any good. I, I think it's okay, but it could disappoint me. What a coincidence! It just disappointed me. What the fuck just happened? Okay, I don't need to go up there anyway, so I'm not going to. Do not enter sewer pipes. But it looks so tempting! How did I even go down there? Did I press down? Did I inadvertently press down? Oh. Bubble bubble, please. It's so cute, I don't want to kill it. Achievement unlocked, level 1 undead. Let's face it, Shovel Knight being as profitable as it was, we're going to see a lot more games like that. This may be an example. You know, obviously this wasn't a game that was started after Shovel Knight sold well. But, you know, we're going to see more 8-bit tributes, 16-bit tributes, tributes, 
and then we'll see Shovel Knight 64, and it'll come full circle. Then we'll see N64 games again. It's going to be foggy. And then after that, we're going to see GameCube-like games again. And then we're just going to keep advancing. And the irony is that it's going to meet up. The graphics of these, like, ironic 16-bit, 8-bit era, like, nostalgia games are going to meet up to where we are now. And uh, gaming is just going to implode. Just completely implode. These are the predictions of a, of a madman. If you're... Oh. If you're curious. Who's this guy? This is very Castlevania. Man, it's the fucking spikes. No. I'm using a gamepad for this. This game is well suited for a gamepad, I would say. I'm gonna stop gasping every time I die. I can't, can't get up there. Okay. Whoa! Bastard. That is a direct Castlevania. Homage. Look, he's got a whip. It's like a dead Simon. Or perhaps Trevor. Pretty good um, variety of enemy types so far. Some oh, fucking Christ. Ugh. <laughs> Thank God for the checkpoints. Um, some games have, like, you start off, and it's the same five enemies for the first, like, two hours of gameplay. I've already seen, you know, maybe ten different enemy varieties. So that's good. Uh, yeah. Give credit where credit's due. For such a simple game, you can tell at least a lot of love was put into it. even know if I'm going the right way or, or what because I noticed there were other ways to go goodbye goodbye coin let's just go this way anyway oh we're back in a town some paintings can hint at secrets thank you oh what the fuck Boss or mini boss or what? Shit. The maddest I've ever gotten at a video game? Go to YouTube, type Super Mario 3D World, the perfect run. Um it's a video that Dem made of my deaths in that game. <sighs> Why am I being so awful at this? I will get better at this game. I have to just learn not to get greedy with sword hits. The thing about hitting with the sword is you can use your sword as fast as you can tap the button, almost. Not really, but you can get some pretty fast hits in. So you can get greedy, like I'm doing right now, and throw caution to the wind and just, like, mash the button as many times as you can and try to get as many hits as you can in as quickly as you can. Yeah, Champion's Road, sorry. Champion's Road, not the perfect run. Champion's Road was pretty rough. Well, both of them were pretty fucking rough. Name is Lonzo, I built the clock tower. Take this key, I lo no longer need it. Okay. Thanks.
think he's Italian, Lonzo. I don't like this guy. That, that guy is bad. It's a dead end. Okay, whoa. Whoa, treasure chest. Used to be a mine east of here, but lizard men took it over. Fucking lizard men are in this game? I like lizard men. I don't have a jump that's good enough for that. Just continue on. Jump right into him. I know, really, I wanted to be in there. Oh, god damn it, really? <laughs> I thought I would be safe. There is no safe. to go save. I'm not fighting that skeleton again. Okay. I am Lonzo. Take my key. And don't die, because you only have a very small amount of health. This guy is predictable, at least. See? There's just that. That's all he does. Right now, at least. So. You can't get frightened by the gargoyle. You just have to... F Probably could have killed him. Or maybe at least done some damage. You there. You there. I am the 100 year old man. It, it is like Zelda too, in the sense that you talk to someone and they just tell you like, I am this person! And nothing else. Like, alright, I just broke into your house and I'm here to talk a little bit. And you're like, no. Warp points like this can be used to travel, but I don't know how. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, all right. One. One? <laughs> Revenge! It's a dish best served cold. With a cold fucking sword through your gullet. Hey there, waiting for my daughter Sophia, I'm worried about her. This is a Walking Dead reference. Sophia. No, probably not. I mean, Sophia is a more common name than just in The Walking Dead. Remember when they spent that entire fucking half season looking for Sophia? Yeah, I didn't like that either. But... Oh, how dare you. There's a Ghosts and Goblins guy. It's a pretty direct reference, I would say. Hey there. 
I am the great mage Marcel. If you plan on going to the old castle, you need the power of magic. Please accept this gift. Fireball! Fireball! Ball! How do you use it? Oh, you have to charge it. Holy shit. Fucking mouses. Let me guess. You are the great mage Marcel and you wish to give me magic. <laughs> do 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 do. I thought it might. Someone mentioned it. Figured why the hell not. That attack is fucking crazy. It gives you no chance to maneuver. Oh, and a, and a block falls too. That's shit. No, 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 no. I have to... What I have to do is get magic, go save, and then return to the boss fight. I'm an idiot. Should have saved. Alright, well, I'll just go ahead and check my email on my phone. Oh, hang on a second, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, I'm back. Gloves are equipped already, guys. Don't... When you see one guy... ...in chat who's like, Vinny, do the thing... ...that doesn't mean I didn't already do the thing. It was automatic, by the way. As soon as you got the item, it, it equipped. Alright. 
mission accomplished. Giant Nightman is dead. Health. Perfect. How's NYC in the snow? It's alright. It's a little shitty, but... Empty. Some fucker stole that treasure chest. Ag Agros Forest. It's just cold here. The snow is just a minor inconvenience. Frog from Chrono Trigger? Those are fivers, guys. Those are worth five. Okay, these skeletons explode into maggots, which I guess makes sense. The maggots were hiding in their bone meal. Sonic? Okay, that... I wasn't sure if that was an enemy or if that was like a fairy Zelda 2 style. Can't reach that mushroom fella yet. He's dead. And health. So that's, there's mini bosses scattered around, I guess. That's kind of cool. Fuck you, mushroom. I didn't see you, mushroom. Okay. Okay, I'm taking some really dumb damage here. I feel like I've missed a lot of stuff in Alexandria. Bones. Fucking bones! Like, there are a lot of different ways to go. Um, I'm going to attempt something. I'm gonna go to the right. Let's see if there's a lot of stuff, or maybe it's just a side area. Okay. 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 It seems like this is a whole other place to explore. Good money. Okay, I'm ready for a new weapon. Oh, frog. You're an enemy? I thought you were a good guy, frog. Is that him crying? Oh my sweet baby Jesus. He's hard. I just can't attack him when where his shield is facing. Off, frog. What's going on? 
Guys, did he glitch? I think he glitched. Goodbye, frog. <laughs> he rose into space. Oh no, he's back. All right, all right, hey. Welcome back. Shit. Ground control to Major Frog. All right, listen. How the fuck? This frog is hard, man. This weapon probably... Isn't making this fight any easier, but okay, I'm I'm getting the rhythm down now. <sighs> the fucking bubbles. He's only half dead. <laughs> got greedy. I got greedy. I'm flabbergasted. That was the noise of, of flabbergastment. That would be what a flabbergast would say. Oh, hey, Living Tombstone. What's up, buddy? Yeah, this is this definitely reminds me a bit of Cave Story. It's more like a Zelda 2, Castlevania 2 kind of vibe going on here. Really good controls. Made by one of the guys that did art on Binding of Isaac Rebirth from Nicholas, who incidentally have also worked on Cave Story. Yes, that's the real living tombstone. <laughs> yep. Fuck. This frog. No! Excuse me. the land. Up until now, there has been no better sword than the wrong sword. <laughs> yeah, Living Tombstone's a pretty cool dude. We, we were talking about, um, we're gonna be at, in the same place. At some point, something I don't really want to talk about at the moment. A, a convention, but one I, I don't want to name just in case, you know, it doesn't happen. But let's just say this. We'll be in the same place, so we had a little chat about that. And uh, he's a cool dude. We were talking about music. Fruity Loops in particular. Both of us use Fruity Loops to make music. We're just not going to attack him from the front at all. I took two damage for that. I stayed too- I got too close. I got too close to him. I keep jumping into him! making that noise when I do something stupid. That, that's really just not necessary. Okay, that's two damage. Finally, Mr. Frog. Oh, he escaped. Can I get his sword at least? 
There is no chance in hell. I want to keep using this weapon. is here now. I am not free. <laughs> and then there was that whole other path that I didn't even go down. I wonder if there was some good stuff over there that I missed. Uh, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't know. I cannot... I can't tell. Cabin key is required for this house. Hey, my name is Bagu. Rest here. Hey, Bagu is Zelda 2. already? Oh, baby! Sorry, that was... It's definitely living... Uh, living. Little Shop of Horrors. Oh! Captain Ian! I don't... I really don't feel confident that I'm in the right spot in the game. Part of me wants to go back and see if I missed a weapon or something. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I don't want to fight a boss without the health. Christ game. You're <laughs> driving me insane. Vinny doing Tingle tonight? No, Vinny didn't stream. I'm not streaming Tingle at the moment. That was two years ago. I've been up... I've been uploading the Tingle streams. From two years ago. That's not something I'm currently streaming. But yes... The good news is, I will upload the next Tingle stream, um, from two years ago, soon. Like, really soon. Okay. Alright, I, I managed to make it here. Without taking damage. We're gonna do this, we're gonna fucking kill Audrey. Oh, that's, that's good, that. Where'd you come from? Don't eat me. Oh, this is terrible.
I missed stuff in the clock tower. Yep. Yeah, I figured I would definitely have missed some things. We're already in the Cave of Serpents. And I don't even think... Jesus. We've gone too far. Look, we're at, there's already lizard men here, guys. We're going back. We're gonna go back. I feel like we haven't seen a store in forever, so we're gonna... We're gonna go look for a store. If I have to fight Audrey 2 again, I'm going to be pissed. Guess who's got to fight Audrey 2 again? Guess who's not fighting Audrey 2 again right now? Okay, I'm getting a little frustrated with this game. My own mistakes, too. It's not... It, the game is difficult. It's challenging. In a good way. But I'm just making so many fucking mistakes. I forgot that they... I forgot about the maggots. Upgraded sword, I got you. Someone named Ashhole is telling me I need the I'm using the wrong sword. Well no shit, I'm using the wrong sword, Ashhole. I will get the right sword. I'll have to fight Audrey 2 again when uh, when the time comes, but right now is not that time. I, I definitely do not feel like fighting that boss again. I'm far away anyway, but next time I, I attempt the boss, hopefully I'll have some better equipment. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. Give me strength, baby Jesus. That's my preferred Jesus. I don't... I don't go for the adult Jesus. BABY JESUS! I thought it was Ash Hole, sorry. <laughs> Apologies. I've invoked the Lord's name so many times tonight. I haven't set foot in a church in years. It's Uncle Jesus is going to be fucking pissed. Uncle Jesus. 
stay the fuck away from bones. How is it that that bar that part, excuse me, that part was more difficult going backwards than forwards? Already almost dead. So this game I've learned is about taking your time. I feel like rushing into situations is just gonna get you dead. It's about mastering patience and not running and attacking full bore at every instance. I mean, the gameplay is fast, but you can't go too fast, otherwise you'll just fuck it up for yourself. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I keep forgetting that that's actually an enemy and not just a part of the background. Which could be a flaw, or it could just be me not paying attention. I'll let you guys decide. Make up your own mind. But whatever I say, you're gonna have to make up your own mind anyway, right? So. House of Ruth, is that Tifa? Please let there be some kind of weapon shop or something here. New enemy that can kill in one hit. Two hits, sorry. I don't think I'm supposed to be at the House of Ruth yet. Oh, I certainly do not think I should be at the House of Ruth. Tifa, what are you doing on the wall? Thank you, I'm Sophia. I'll go home now. Good. Go home. Maybe I'll get a reward. Get away from the bones. Guess we'll just go this way. I have to say, the game is definitely not linear. Oh look, it's this part again. Go see if there's a reward. Jesus! Sword. I need I need an upgrade. Really bad. I'm getting really, really upset at this weapon. generous that there's so many checkpoints, but this game is a lot more difficult than it first lets on. Like, you think it's just gonna be an easy romp? Just kill a few things, stab them a few times, and you're done. Nope. That looks like... that's suspicious to me. That looks like a cave. It's blocked off, though. <sighs> After this, we'll check out the Majora's Mask DLC in Hyrule. Check out Tingle and Young Link. Um, then, maybe some Grimrock to end the night. We'll see.
so I'm almost done with this. I really just want to get a new weapon. Empty. There's got to be some kind of upgrade here, somewhere. We didn't even do all of the clock tower. I think we only did just a small... Well, we went on a different path. Forgot about that. There's a different path that I went on, and I saw a number of other paths. I kind of wish spikes weren't insta-death, but I, I get it. I understand it. Whoa. What the hell's happening? Okay, this is something I don't remember. Oh, we found the guy. Please take the items in the chest. Thank you. Spiked cleats. You won't slip on ice. I want to be an adventurer someday. Alright, well, at least we won't slip on ice. We haven't seen any ice yet, but we got the reward. That house. Okay, there's a warp point. The old man of a hundred years. If you kept moving forward, you may have found one of the travel things. Yep, I know. I'm already regretting my journey back. But we're here, so you may as well, you may as well just keep going. Like this. This stuff. Nope, fire kills fire, confirmed. Okay, so we're in the clock tower again. This is where there's a divergent path. Just one pixel short. probably end up making my way back off stream at some point so that way you guys don't have to sit through me going through the castle again all the way are those medusa heads yep those are medusa heads <laughs> very very clear castlevania homage Here we go. Uh, Chainmail. That probably would have helped, huh? Oh no. Hootie? Don't kill me, Hootie. Dead by Hootie. Hootie killed me. Hootie killed me, I gotta go back up and do the thing again. <coughs> what did I just shoot? Did you guys see- oh, I killed one of these guys. I I was like, did I just shoot a wall and money come out? Oh, oh, that's an instant death spike. Shut up, Wesley.
fucking instant death spike. Like, really? Do we need instant death spikes from the ceiling too now? I need Hootie. I need to talk to Hootie about this. I am very angry with Hootie. <laughs> Hootie will be demoted to part-time streamer. But, but no. <laughs> but no. But no. See, now I can't even... Okay. It's a case of overthinking it. And... First time you go through it, you just just get it. And the second three, four, seven times, does that words that I just spoke? I can't tell. But the second, third, fourth, fifth time is then easier. Christ, that's a heart attack to avoid. Dead. Oh, it escaped. It's it escaped. Wait a second. Wait a second. Can I get up there? Nope, can't. I wonder if I missed anything else. Defense 2. Okay, so finally, reinforced by a link of strong chains. Worth 10 coins. Hey, times are tough. I did the cracked walls. Yeah, I got those. That's a treasure chest in there. I'm um, just going to take a quick trek back a little bit. See if I missed something potentially. And then we'll just save it and check out the Hyrule Warriors stuff. I knew that was going to be death, but part of me wanted to believe that there was a secret in there. And I'm going back in, guys. We're going back in. Okay, so there's nothing on the right wall. There's nothing against the right wall. Oh my, there's nothing against the left wall either, so that is just fucked what that is. There's really not much to do there, except die. Wait, do I have the museum key yet? I don't think I do. Let's just go this way anyway. Good, Finn. Good job. We don't have the museum key, so we can't go in there. There's no point in going back that far. So we'll leave it here. We'll leave it there. Secrets. Prologue. The forgotten first demo from 2013. A mode for people who don't play a lot of video games. What the hell is this? Is that Super Mario? Q? 
Keyblade. I got the Keyblade. <laughs> what the fuck are these mountain- these hills from Mario World? I am now Sora. Um... So what- what's going on here? Jumping bow. Oh, is this just like really super easy mode? I gotta double jump. This is just like... Oh, look at this! We're already at the forest! <laughs> oh, there you are! You unlocked nothing! The end. Oh, it would have been perfect if I could kill her. <laughs> the forgotten first demo. So this was the first iteration of the game, I guess. What a horrible night to have a curse. Nice to see the game has been in development since 2013. So I'm 14% through the game. That's pretty hefty for an hour of gameplay. Over an hour. That says 24 minutes. That's the time I spent alive, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. I, I actually kind of really like this game. This is my kind of game. I'm an old man. I like games like this, you know what I mean? What can I say? Um, I'm gonna make a poll. I'm curious about something. I want you guys to vote on a scale from 1 to 10. How much did you en enjoy watching Castle in the Darkness? Now, this is just for my own curiosity's sake. Just so I know what kind of games you guys like to watch. Usually I do it based on viewer numbers, but... Okay, the poll has been created. Just vote. If it's 10, that means you really enjoyed it. If it's 1... That means you didn't enjoy it, so vote there at the straw poll, and, uh, you know, we'll see if people enjoyed it or not. Because I wonder, you know, I'm always afraid, like, I'm going to start streaming. Usually I just stream what I want, but I'm always afraid there are some games people don't want to see, and uh, this game is not a roguelike. It's not fancy. It doesn't have explosions. <laughs> So I was wondering if you guys enjoyed it. Okay, I'll post the poll one more time. And we've got f almost 500 votes. And, well, take a look for yourself. So... Most people enjoyed it between a 7 and an 8, followed by 10 and 9. So I guess this game did pretty well. People enjoyed watching it. That was like the highest percentages. Um, some mediocre numbers, but I guess eight's pretty good. That means that most people, I think, were comfortable with watching a pixel game. It's not a very original game, let's face it. It's just an homage to stuff from the old days. So... Time will tell if it gets better or if it gets worse. So anyway, that's the poll. That's the castle in the darkness. And I'll be right back. With Hyrule Warriors DLC, Tingle and Young Link. And he's single. He's ready to tingle. And it's going to be fun. So stick around. I'll be right back.